I would like to do a really quick bare bones how to use Google Drive to embed artwork in a discussion demo. Um, there's no set requirement in Art 1120 for how you are to embed your artwork in a discussion. The only requirement is that you must do it. So please watch the videos that I'm creating but also the ones that show you how to use Canvas to upload your artwork and choose the option that works best for you. The video that I'm making is how to use Google Drive but the idea or the process is very similar to how you might use Dropbox or the Microsoft Word version. And so any website that allows you to post your artwork or save your, your artwork in a storage um, cloud is an option that you could use. So find the option you like best and just make sure that whichever option you choose, your artwork is able to be viewed by your classmates. So the first thing we need to do when we want to use Google Drive to post and then submit our artwork for our discussions is to use Google Drive. So you need to go to drive.google.com. It will redirect you to a page that currently looks like this, but it changes periodically. What's important is you're going to look for an option to sign in or an option that says go to drive. When you click on that, it will redirect you to the sign in page. You're going to sign in with your entire Bruin Mail email address. The number one thing I get or comment I get from students that it's not working is that they only typed in their handle. Your handle is not a Google account, but your email address, when you hit next, will redirect you to the Salt Lake Community College Google login. Now you can log in with your handle and your password, and they will be the same handle and password that you use for all of your SLCC logins. When you're redirected, you can see that I use the Google Drive a lot, so there's a lot on here, um, at a very basic file organization um, structure. I recommend creating a new folder, so hit new and then folder for our class. You can see I've already made one down here. And then make a new folder, so new and folder, for any activity that you're working on. And then post your artwork inside. So I am using the discussion for visual problems in the design process. And so when I'm ready, I will upload any artwork that I want to share in that folder. I'm going to go ahead and delete these or trash them so that I can show you how to upload your artwork. Google Drive is very um, user friendly when using it for storage. So there's a couple options. You can hit new and file upload. Find the file you would like to upload and hit open. That one's pretty awesome, pretty easy. Uh, now, a better option is to just drag and drop. So if I drag and drop a picture, I can upload artwork. You could keep doing it and you could do over and over and over and it will just queue the artwork. There's also an option where you can download it onto your desktop of your computer and you don't even have to worry about this. You do everything from your computer and then if you were logging into the website from a different computer, uh, you could use the website and all the stuff that you have organized on your personal computer would be accessible. Okay, so the first step is to log in and upload your artwork, organize it in whatever fashion you have determined you're going to use for your organization. The second step is to make sure that the share settings are share settings that allow anyone in our class to view them. So if you were to select any one of the files that you uploaded and hit the little link icon in the top right hand corner, it will tell you what your share settings are. And by default, the link share settings are off. So I'm going to turn them on. And then the privacy settings are anyone at Salt Lake Community College with the link can view the file. And in theory, that is a great option. That's perfect because everyone in the class, including your teacher, uh, has a Salt Lake Community College login. The problem with this, however, is that if you embed the artwork into the discussion and a student's trying to view it, but they're not logged in to their Google Drive account or they're logged in, but they're logged into a different Google Drive account, they will get a big gray box that says you don't have access to this image. So while it's not a requirement, I recommend that you hit share settings. When the new dialog appears, doesn't want me to click it. There we go. Uh, you're going to go down to the bottom half and see where it says get link. You are confirmed that anyone at Salt Lake Community College with a link can view. I'm going to change that. 
And instead of Salt Lake Community College, this drop down, I'm going to just change it to anybody with the link. So it's not going to be public on the web. People aren't going to be able to just happen upon your image. But if you embed this in a discussion, it doesn't matter whether your classmates are logged in or not, they'll still be able to see your image. If you wanted to take it one step further, maybe you're working collaboratively with a group or something, over here on the right hand side, you can change that anyone with the link is a viewer, which is what you want for our class. But you can also say anyone with the link is a commenter or they're an editor. So we'll leave it at viewer and hit done. So now if you leave that. So now if you select the image again and hit that little link icon, you can just double check that now anyone with the link can view. So you can copy this. This is option 1. You can copy this URL and go back to the discussion. You can reply to make your initial post. With this first option, you're just simply going to paste the URL. Do me a favor and hit the space bar whenever you paste a URL because it becomes blue and clickable. If you don't, and then you hit post. The first option is super easy. Even though the artwork is not embedded, I can just click on it and it opens in a new tab. And if my internet would cooperate, you can then quickly see the artwork that the student is trying to share. And this is perfectly acceptable. It's more enjoyable for your classmates if the image is embedded, but if this is the option that works for you be uh, best for you, then follow this option. Just make sure you hit the space bar because the second example, I have to highlight it, I have to copy it, I have to create a new tab, I have to paste the URL, I have to hit return. It's a whole process and your classmates are less likely to go through that process and see your artwork um, if they have to copy and paste. If they just have to click, they're more likely to click on it. But let's take this one step further. What do you do if you want to embed the artwork so it just displays? To do that, you're still going to follow the first step, which is log in, create an organization, upload your artwork. Step two, you still need to change the privacy settings, make the link shareable, and I recommend making anyone with the link able to view. And then you're going to double click on your image. When you do that, there will be three dots in the top right hand corner. You're going to click on that and hit open in a new window. Now when I tell you the next step, you're going to think, well, why do I have to do the same thing twice? I don't know. Google made this and we're just following Google's process. So now when it's opened in a new window, we're going to hit the three but, uh, dots in the top right hand corner. And this time, instead of having an option to open in a new window, there's an option to embed the item. I'm going to select that and then copy the HTML code and hit OK. When you go back to Canvas, Let's make a new post. You do not want to paste this in the discussion because it is HTML code. If you do that, nothing happens. So instead, what we're going to do is you can type whatever you want to type for your post. And then make sure that you start a new line and you're going to embed HTML code. So you're going to go up to the top right hand corner where it says HTML editor. Below your artwork here, you can paste the HTML code. In theory, you could hit post reply right now, but you can't see what it looks like because you're looking at the coded version of your post. So I recommend hit rich content editor again to go back to the visual editor. And then you should see your artwork appear. My internet's being a little slow, so it took a second, but it's there and it's embedded. So now when you hit post reply, your artwork will display right in line with the rest of your post. And so as students scroll, past, they'll be able to see your artwork. And it will be a smaller version of your artwork. It's, it's in a little frame. But your classmates can always hit this little pop out button if they want to see a larger or full uh, size version of your project. Again, you don't have to use the Google Drive option. It is just an option. What you have to do is, is get your artwork into the discussion thread so that your classmates can see it. And you can do that any way that works for you in Art 1120.